what do we have here? This is the first axis of our baby grinder. Ooh, let's take a closer look. Come on in. All right, so the first part is the motion rails. There's two important things about this, that they're very rigid and very flat. Okay, it looks like we have the rigid part taken care of with all that steel. How do we get them very flat? Yep, so come on in and I'll show you the next part. So these are three support points and they sit on the bezel points. What's a bezel point? Yeah, that's like a whole other video that we'll do about bezel points and area points. But just to be very brief about it, um, they're the places where a large piece of granite or something like that is as flat as you can get it while supporting it in three places. Is that total overkill for a solid piece of granite? Yeah, probably. Okay. So what are these things? So these things are little micrometer heads, and you see we've got that on two of them for adjustability. And then the third one is just a ball bearing. Oh, so it's a three-point support system. Exactly. Got it. Okay, we've got all the pieces. Uh, how does it work together? Yeah. So we take this big old piece of granite, set it on top very carefully. And then, once we've leveled that using the micrometer heads, then we take a little surface gauge, put it on there, and we watch to see how much it rises or falls from one section to the other. Then we can adjust by putting a little bit of shim stock under each piece to get it exactly as flat as we possibly can. I got you. What, so what are we shooting for for flatness? Uh, I'm thinking a half of a thousandth. I mean, this is a good test. Huh, so. Makes sense to me. Let's see if we can do it. All right, give it a shot. All right, so I think this is our high point. I've set it to about zero. Um, it's going to warp a little bit because we welded this, and so it's not going to be perfect. Uh, let's take a little measurement across the whole thing and see how far out we really are. Let's do it. So that looks like about minus 10. Okay. All right, let's take a good map of that. Yeah, let's do it the same way we did the bedways before. Sounds good. Okay, how'd we do? Well, let's find out. Uh, I've set it to where the zero is, and uh, well, let's try one direction. Uh, pretty close to zero. Uh, a little bit low still on that corner. Zero. Plus a thousand. Zero. Minus a thousand. Zero. Plus a thousand. And zero. So first pass, we got within about a thousandth. Yeah, not too bad, but we can still do better. We can do better. All right, first axis is done and it's perfect. Yeah, not exactly. Yeah, no, of course not. Let, let's talk a little bit about tolerances. To start with, uh, we're shooting for really a half a thou tolerance on everything. Why did we choose a half a thou? Uh, there's a couple of reasons. The easiest one is my surface gauge is a little bit wobbly, within about a half a thousand. Yeah, that and the thinnest uh, shim stock we could find was half a thou, so yeah. there you go. And honestly, for any application that we're planning on doing with this thing, especially this small surface grinder, I think a half a thou is gonna be plenty good enough. Yep. Cool, okay, well, uh, do you see any problems going forward here? I mean, if, what have we learned so far? Well, uh, one, I measured this a couple of times during the day, and uh, just as the temperature changes, this tolerance changes a little bit too. Uh, I gotcha, that's due to the thermal expansion of the steel, yeah. you think? 
cast iron is better for this. It expands at a different rate. Might put the numbers up. Yep. Um, and uh, steel expands faster. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, let's see, what else is there? Uh, well, one thing I did notice is, you know, because normally, uh, you know, bedways for this sort of thing are, ca are cast and are one solid piece. These are bolted down, and mm -hmm. there are bolts pretty frequently, but uh, you'll notice that, that the measurement here is not the same as it is here. You know, they all kind of do a little bit of that. So, right. But again, that's probably within a quarter thou at the most. That's within our tolerances. Yeah. It's subtle, but the end of these is a little bit higher, uh, and that's because there's nothing really supporting us to pull them down. We could put bolts in that. Maybe we will on the real thing, but this is we'll just won't run it out to the edge very often. For sure. So. For sure. Probably not worth it. And again, like we, we're building this for two reasons. One, we want to have a little surface grinder. I think that's going to yep. be really helpful around the mm -hmm. shop. And two, we're this is a learning experience. We want to see uh, what's going to work in this and what's not going to work. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, which brings me to the next problem. Um, if you were doing this, you would want your bedway to go completely between these two rails. And the reason for that is that if you do, if one of these is a thousandth high over the other one, then everything in between is less than that. Right. If you cantilever them a little bit, then everything off of that cantilever will be higher than a thousandths. Yeah, and in this design, we're kind of forced to do that because we yeah. want a little bit bigger range of motion. You'll see that, yeah. especially in the y-axis that we're going to build in a few weeks. We didn't have to do it on this one, but because we're going to have to do it when we build the one for the lathe, I wanted to experiment. Yep, yep. Now, one thing I did notice is um, this granite block is not as long as we need it to be for the whole thing. Uh, we, can, we can't scale this up to twice the size, so what's our plan there? Yeah, we're going to have to get creative on that, um, and it will come down to a really interesting way to get the two of them aligned. To be exactly the same, because we do have two of these things. Yeah. So. so we'll have to build a jig for okay. that and cool. get really, really right. smart on it. All right, well, I hope you guys are enjoying this part of the series. Um, we're going to come back to this in two weeks, but next week we're going to get back to the lathe, so stick yeah. around for that. All right, see you guys. Sounds good.